Hi friends and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm going to show you around and share with you some of the progress we've been making and the stuff that we've been working on to try to get things done before winter comes. So we're filling in this pen. We had um, cattle panels to close it and we ended up just pulling everything out and start to fill this in. Uh, the boys pen has always been higher because we filled it in and it doesn't get as soupy as it gets down here. So we're gonna fill it in with some of this um, granite. They're just pieces of granite. They're gonna go underneath and then we're gonna continue to move some soil here. As you can see, this was the area, if you've been with me for a while, I love Clarita. I just can't resist showing you because she is, oh my gosh, <laughs> she is so cute. Look at her compared to her mama. Isn't she like a mini Clara? Oh, oh I love her. Anyway, I'm sorry because it's a lot of noise, but <clears throat> as you can see, this was the area that it used to flood a lot. Uh, back there is the creek. So now we're gonna fill all these holes in, and we have the set up the fencing again. And I plan to use this as a breeding pen. This is also going to be. Um, where I'm gonna raise the babies that I pull from the moms. So this is gonna be like a multi-purpose area and I'm really excited about it because it's it's pretty big. It's uh, bigger than the boys' pen, but see, I'm really excited. If you remember, there was a little hill of dirt up there and we're just trying to distribute it in a way that it kind of falls into the creek the rain and there's a lot of debris that is also going to go under the soil here to fill it up and decompose. Excuse the boys being loud but this is what we finish after all that work with the tractor we finish this extra pan because we moved the ducks and I'll show you where they were before and how it looks like now but we move high thanks for the kisses Gaia oh you're so sweet she's my oldest grandchild aren't ya you sweet grandchild she is Mocha's girl the first girl born in our farm and she knows it she's a little crazy those are Annabelle's little girls from last year who will be bred. They're more than ready. That's Fat Clara. She eats like a maniac, but she's feeding Clarita, who's back there. And she's feeding Evie, who is also drinking from Mocha right now. That's Gaia's girl. Here's Gaia. And Evie thinks that everyone should share their milk, which is, yeah, that's another video that I'll do soon. But, but yeah, she is my sweet girl. Every time I walk by, she kisses me. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes. Just like your mama. This is Mocha. And <laughs> let me see your mom. Yes, I love you both. That's Mocha over there. Okay, so this is what we've done. So I kind of created this cleaning station out here. So we have the hose for the duck's water. And then we have an area where I wash their bowls and stuff because they are nasty. As you can see, that's water that I change every day. Then let's go into the pen. If you remember, this area used to flood a lot, which 
means nothing because this could be still a little low but you know now we can work little by little but it was really like more of a hole here so my husband filled with a lot of the extra dirt that we had over here it was like a little hill he kind of moved it this way and level it for the ducks now after we've been using it for a while we realized that that's still a low spot so as you can see when the water overflows it creates a little puddle that they love I don't love it so we're gonna fill it they do have their own little areas where they can go and swim including the creek back here so from so from the gate over there they could walk all this way and end up in the creek so you can see down here it's very very low but there's still water now we utilized the same fencing that the ducks had in the front and we just moved it here with T post and this kind of post that we had for the ducks they're not rough on fences so really doesn't have to be super durable but even for the boys as you can see right there we do have pretty much the same with some posts for reinforcement but they do share that fence line and this that you can see now put their house over there and this is the breeding pen right now so every time one of the girls is in heat over there they will go by the fence they will start wagging their tail and calling for the boys and I'll bring them around we plan to put a little gate over there but not right now so we're gonna go around and then come this way and the boys I usually just move the one that is gonna be breeding uh, we already use monkey king with two of the girls I don't know if they took because I don't know if I was too late for their breeding cycle which I'll find out soon but we used him and we already used Dom to breed Clara so Dom was spread to Clara or Clara was bred to Dom who still has a lot of problems with monkey king who's a but to try to be nice to him and um, and we use monkey king with both of Annabelle's girls Aria and Ava again I don't know if I caught it on time look at Rocky he's like excuse me mommy when is gonna be my turn well as soon as Mocha goes into labor he's gonna go with Rocky uh, she's gonna go with Rocky um, I really am look looking forward to seen a girl hopefully from Rocky and Mocha uh, the the year that I bred Mocha to Rocky uh, Mocha gave me four boys <laughs> last year I bred her to Dom and she gave me two girls out of those I kept one of them and yeah so I don't have any plans to breed him he was supposed to be picked up in the month of September. I don't know if that's going to happen. And otherwise, I'm still going to have to post him for sale because he's really too, too related. He is a half-brother of Rocky. So I do have Clarita out of him, which is Taz, the buckskin. But uh, as you can see, boys are being boys right now. So we installed those little pieces of granite all granite as a path and also where we keep the water just for our convenience the ducks don't mind the mud but we are hoping that to get some seeds that we're gonna spread here shade kind of seeds and help grass grow here because I know that the ducks will enjoy it and there are some days where they have to stay inside their pen so that's why I have to change their water frequently and make sure that you know they have plenty of it so this is one of the bigger changes and as you can see the pen is huge 
now 